in this session we will learn about <coughs> panel layouts in fact so far we tried only this schematic tab okay and of course we have gone through this project tab project wide utilities and all apart from this two report yeah report we have touched this panel this is very important tab <coughs> using this we can create the layouts inside a project by which we can link the schematic diagram with the layout diagrams but before touching this portion i will give you a rough idea about how to make panel layouts electrical panel layouts not through autocad electrical this is normal electrical but this is a electric panel layout this will give you the clear idea how you can utilize these skills while making panel layouts through autocad electrical this is my active project autocad electrical tutorial these are all schematic diagrams okay i am using the title block which is of a4 size assume which is of a4 size and i want to make a panel which is 1800 mm that means 1.8 meter height 800 mm width and 600 mm depth that is the panel which i want to make but if i make this layout in one is to one scale i cannot accommodate this much height panel in a a4 size sheet which is of 297 by 210 mm so there are two options either you have to make a layout first then make it as a block scale it without changing the dimension text so your block the whole drawing will size you can reduce but the problem when you measure those drawing in the soft copy you won't get the scale so that is not the proper way so for this purpose you can use this tab model tab uh, sorry this one layout tab this is my title block which i chose for this particular training this is a typical title block i want to make a panel dev diagram so i am not going to make anything in this sheet in this layout paper space i am going to draw everything in my model space this is paper space i have renamed it into layout this is in fact paper space maybe in your pc these tabs may be not visible so you go to tools here here more commands no it is here tools go to options inside tools options or directly you can type options here in the command line which will take you to this tab here i think you can find it yeah here option display in display this you have to check it okay display layout and model tabs so what i am going to do is i am going to make this pro this drawing as a part of this project so what i will do is i will go to the project right click and add active drawing it will take few seconds now if you see this particular layout drawing this 
drawing name is layout drawing file name so that has become a part of this particular project but what i am going to generate now is not a pure autocad electrical layout it's not i'm going to make a layout manually and in the coming session i will tell you about more about this step intelligent panel layout only through that only we can link between our schematic diagram link with our schematic diagram now we are we, we are making <coughs> simple layout diagram what i have done here is i have copied few blocks in this which is readily available with me i have copied all those blocks because i am going to make a panel layout for this particular drawing single line diagram forgot about this rating we don't have anything to do with this is a drive okay alan badly make drive single line diagram with a incomer mccb even you can forget about this tag mccb line chalk and a drive and there are few mcbs forgot about these two there are few mcbs which we used to we use for using for layout and illumination supply etc cooling fan illumination etc so from my library from my library i have copied all the blocks into a single sheet which is necessary for me okay including the panel now what i will do is i will create a drawing in this sheet keeping all the blocks aside this is my panel front view of my panel without a door it is now without a door now i have to place an mccb a mccb line chalk drive and two mccbs that's all incoming supplies from the bottom i know so what i will do is i will put few terminals or even bus bars on the bottom side of my panel this is three incoming bus bar bus bars okay i will just a minute move i will place these bus bars i want to keep it say 300 mm from the bottom 300 mm and now this is my incoming bus bar call it t1 or pt1 whatever you want this is my incoming terminal okay now the from the incoming terminal my cable will go directly to the mccb so next i want to place an mccb i have few mccb blocks here i will take one among this let us stay say take 160 ampere mccb again this two i want to keep at a distance say i will keep it now 400 from here all the commands which i am using for this purpose is normal autocad commands only but i am showing this just because you to get an idea about what is an electrical panel is all about that's all this is my mccb the cables the cable comes from the top terminates here from here it is going to the mccb i am putting the tag mccb 1 now it will go to the choke if it is a small choke of course you can mount it somewhere in the mounting plate all these things are mounting when the mounting plate even you can use the channels to mount but in this case i am considering a mounting plate the next thing i want to mount is a choke if it is a small line choke 
we we'll call it reactor line reactor you can mount it anywhere in the panel if it is a little bit big always try to keep it in the bottom side because during transportation of this panel and all there are chances of it falling down and if you keep it somewhere in the top you you are not supposed to mount any other elements above the choke because due to the heat dissipation of the choke the components which we, you will mount above those particular choke will get damaged so always try to avoid big chokes not small one big rating chokes on the top side try to get rid of so i am going to keep my choke in the bottom this is a block of my choke line choke this is i am making only front view okay i am going to keep it here here i will keep it here so my cable comes here goes to the mccb now i have to bring back that to the choke so what i will do is i will put some pvc channels pvc ducts they are also of standard sizes now i am putting a 60 mm duct here i will put a duct here now see what i will do i will trim all these things this anyway i don't want i don't want this portion to this is my pvc normally i never do layout drawing from scratch i have always ready made available and i will do only modifications but this is for your understanding this is again a channel this is again a channel and i am going to keep a distance of 150 mm which i normally follow between these two channels 60 again this is 60 mm pvc channel One fifty, one fifty. Now I don't want this channel above this. Okay. Now what I will do is, I will place my drive. drive above this channel just above this channel i always follow always keep this component at a particular height 225 from the top i will place it here Okay, now I will take few few MCBs. It is here. Bring those MCBs here. I'm going to keep it here. These are DIN rails. See, my intention is to make you familiar about these components, which we will. using autocad electrical layout this is din rail for mounting the components one is mounting plate this is other is pvc ducts this is din rails mcbs chokes bus bars mccbs drives and all those things okay now the major components are there and if you want i can put the this thing panel lights illumination lights i'm going to put it here with a door switch 
this is a door switch door limit switch when the door opens the light blows and the fan stops it is normally it is coming with one no one nc contact here no contact we will put it in the light and then into the fan when the fan works doors open fan will not work so this is my front view in fact this is a quite big panel we don't require such a big panel normally we design we select the panel as per our requirement again this is an example so my front view is over fine now if i need to make a side view what i will do i will place the side view here right now i know these are the ducts which is passing through here so what i will do this is my mounting blade this thick line this is my mounting blade i'm going to mount all this component in this only what i will do is and in fact this is going up the depth of this pvc duct is 100 mm so if you measure this depth you can see this is 100 mm that is the depth of this pvc duct you have to visualize the things i am looking from the see left side view i am now viewing from the left side of this panel so what else i will think this is overall now i will bottom i can see a choke so i will bring a side view of a choke here i will keep it here somewhat in the front side because my cable entry is through the bottom so it won't uh, restrict my gland plates for smooth cable entry now this bus bars i have a block for that too i'll first bring it here from here i can with the, keeping my ortho one i will take it here so again when you look from the left first you will see the bus bars you won't see these ducts so i will trim this portion these portions are invisible when you leaving from viewing from left again next mccb i have a side view of this mccb this is the side view you should always maintain a library i mean that is the way you can speed up from the left when I view this, this should be in this way. See. I'm going to mount it here. Again, when you look from the left, you won't, this duct won't be visible. Only you will see the MCCB. So I'm going to trim. These are minor things. This is not going to affect your panel at all, but I said, good designer, you should practice such things. Front view, side view, everything should be very clear. Now, the thing left is drive. I have a drive block. Again, I will just mirror it for my view. I am going to move it, not copy. I am going to move it here. Then, moving this to this panel. Fine. How only lamp is there, side view of the lamp. If you want, you can bring that too. Bring this lamp to here. I'm not going to. Now this is over. See the front view and side view of this particular panel is over and of course you can do the dimensioning from especially these major things like the distance between bottom and the termination many customers will ask you to give a clearance of 250 300 mm minimum clearance for power cables and if it is control tables you can do a little bit here and there uh, if i want to keep some control tbs here 
everything should be in one sheet so that you don't have to look for the blocks and in fact if you keep a proper library you can bring those uh, these uh, components directly from there i do in that way but this is also i mean very good thing keep all the components all these blocks mcc blocks mccb blocks in one directory contactor blocks in some other directory these are contactors in fact we have not used those contacts here because that is not in our single line diagram okay so before start doing any layout bring all those into a one sheet whatever you need writing wise and in one sheet you play the whole game moving here copying from here there and all and in fact if you want to make a right hand side view right hand side view of this particular panel now this was left now i am going to make it as a right right hand side view when you view from the right uh, when you free view from the left this pvc duct You won't, you can't see this duct, this duct also because the drive comes first. When you see from here, it looks like this. Then this MCCB won't come here. Instead, the PVC duct. So better you delete this MCCB. And here is a MCB. So make a side view of this MCCB too. This is approximately 50 mm, I know. I have two line, draw two lines. So this is my MCB side view. Similarly, terminals also you can make the side view. If it is not viewing from here, what you have to do is what it, this is a standard. If, you're, if you cannot view directly, you have to make those lines hidden. hidden lines dashed lines okay that means you are not viewing it directly because here you see the duct is going through vertically so you cannot see the horizontal channels directly that's why i made it like this now this is if you measure this dimension this all these dimensions are one is to one 800 mm panel 800 mm panel and 1600 mm 1915 because the panel is of 1800 mm and in 15 mm i have used the this thing anti vibration pad and the 100 mm is my plinth base frame of my panel so the total height comes 1915 mm 1915 we cannot accommodate this in a a4 sheet because the A4 size of a A4 sheet is 294, 197 to 210. Okay. And A3 is 420 into 297. So you cannot fit this drawing one is to one scale in any of these sheets. The only way is you have to scale up your title block. 10 times scale the title block and it will come automatically. But I don't want to destroy my title block. My title block should be of standard size so if i go move back to the layout here this is now empty now if i double click here now see my cursor moves inside this is a viewport basically this is called viewport it is now moving here and there now actually i am playing in the model space only when i double click and go inside this i am playing in model space now coming out i double click here now you see the difference now i am in layout space or paper space this is basically to take the printouts whatever you made the modifications you make it in model space only layout space is just take the printouts double click go here now i cannot see anything if i double click or zoom extend still now i cannot see anything because because now i am coming out now the viewport has gone i don't know where the viewport is 
so probably the layer viewport is off now viewport yeah this layer is now off now i am going to on this layer uh, this particular layer now you can see the viewport this rectangle this is called viewport now i am going inside this i am giving the command all these commands will work here as well zoom extend still my drawing is not appearing here why i can tell you now double click on this sorry coming back go out click quick properties go to the quick properties wait for a second now this just moving out now this window will come up here you see the display is locked okay keep it no now go inside and double click now you apply zoom extend command see everything comes here but in fact i don't want all these things to come into my drawing i want only few things so i will i can zoom this much portion or whatever i want in this way i can zoom so now the scale is in fact little bit different you can set the scale from this one is to no it is not one is to one one is to 10 if it it is like this this is one is to 10 scale okay now it is one is to 8 it is like this one is to 5 this is like this so you can set the scale in this view now you can now the scale is one is to 5 we have not disturbed our title block we have not scaled our drawing we are just doing the tricks only in the viewport so in, this is the best way if you want is to four little bit it is going here and there so you need to four is not good enough one is to five is fair enough now you come out this is set now now if you see here here you go the whole sheet wherever you focus you zoom it here and go there you will see this only now it is set now so you don't have to erase or uh, delete all these things maybe in future you may require to change some components here so you can simply again copy from here and paste it here no need to bring it from your library so keep it here only you are not going to do anything here but whenever you make a revision or any modification go to the model space do it here do it here only and another thing maybe by mistake you can disturb this double click this you may move your cursor here and there like this you see by rolling your cursor you can disturb the scale there are chances so in order that not to happen what you should do is again right click quick properties or even double click it will now it is actually in fact going out of your screen come here and display again lock this display now your display has been locked now you go inside you scroll here and here you zoom x and apply any command you cannot move the this objects from here and there this is locked now you cannot do anything inside this that's the beauty and coming out again if you want to hide this layer if you don't want this rectangle to appear in your drawing go back here 
hide the viewport layer. It is hidden now. Now this is perfect drawing. If you make any modification here, now I am going to delete this drive. Go back here, the drive is not there. Undo. Here it is. So this is how you can make use of this paper space for your layout drawings. And if you want to make more, you can just copy and you can see the copy move to the end, create a copy. You can create another, but this is not advisable. You should not make more than one layout in a single sheet. That is not advisable. If here, if I want, um, now there is another panel which I don't have uh, these MCBs. I want to show this and MCBs and chalks are not there in those drawing. So in that case, what I can do is first I will go and switch off, switch on my viewport layer. Now this is on. Click the viewport, properties, quick properties or double click this thing. This will come, unlock this. No. Now you, you can move, see, now it is here. Now for this I will set this as 1 is to 5 scale. This is my drawing, second drawing. I will coming back, coming after coming back, right click. Quick properties, it is moving out of the window. Lock the views. And if you don't want this thing to appear, this rectangle to appear in your screen, go off the viewport. This is my second panel. This is my first panel with the choke, line choke and time series. This is my second panel with it. So, I am playing in only one sheet. Whatever I do, I will do only in this sheet. And we did get reflex in other sheets without disturbing the scale. So this is how we can make internal layouts or layouts for electrical panels manually. But as we are learning AutoCAD electrical, we should learn about how to make layout drawing using AutoCAD Electrical. So this tab stands for that. It has many features. You can interlink, you can go to the schematic, you can copy things from there. Once you delete a few things here, that will delete automatically. Now you see, if I delete something from this schematic of this particular wiring, I have to come back to this sheet. If I replace the MCCB in the schematic with the MCB or SFU, I first I have to do it.